हेलो वेलकम टू यू इन फाइनेंस क्लास आई एम भोजराज पंगेनी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द शॉर्ट टर्म बैंक लोन शॉर्ट टर्म बैंक लोन आर अंडर द टाइप्स ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म फाइनेंसिंग इन दिस वीडियो ओनली शॉर्ट टर्म बैंक लोन आर डेल्ड एंड हैव अ लुक ऑन द पिक्चर द शॉर्ट टर्म फाइनेंसिंग हैज टू टाइप्स स्पोन्टेनियस एंड नॉन स्पोन्टेनियस अंडर द स्पोन्टेनियस फाइनेंसिंग एक्रल्स एंड ट्रेड क्रेडिट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ स्पोन्टेनियस फाइनेंसिंग एंड अंडर द नॉन स्पोन्टेनियस फाइनेंसिंग शॉर्ट टर्म बैंक लोन लाइन ऑफ क्रेडिट एंड कमर्शियल पेपर दिस थ्री आर द non spontaneous financing but in this video we are only discussing about the short term bank loan only the numerical problem of short term bank loan so further the short term bank loan further can be classified into three types they are the simple bank loan discount bank loan and add on interest loan the dark or highlighted types are more important than others so we will discuss about the simple bank loan and discount bank loan in this chapter but we don't talk about the add on interest loan that is installment loan because it's not more important than others the point 2 short term bank loan in short term bank loan the term compensating balance you have to know about the term compensating balance compensating balance means the minimum cash balance should be maintained in the bank or retained by the bank if it is given in the question please deduct it don't forget to deduct the compensating balance okay always you have to deduct the compensating balance in every question in every question if there is the compensating balance you have to deduct okay it is given in the red line because it is a very important and most of the students forget about this compensating balance and they cannot deduct it now number a is simple interest loan for this simple interest loan simple interest loan means the payment interest of payment or interest are paid at the end of each year interest is paid at the end of each year is called simple interest loan okay now also known as the collect basis loan okay one if compensating balance is not given if compensating balance is not given then apc or ear is equal to the interest rate divided by 100 into 100% and or or you can use the another formula interest amount the first one is the interest rate formula this is the rate formula and this is the amount formula this is the amount formula interest amount divided by principal into 100% okay interest amount divided by principal into 100% this is the amount formula you can write only one you don't have to write both formula whether you have to know the first formula and the you have to know about the second formula but first formula is always a uh, easier you can directly put the interest rate and the number point 2 if compensating balance is given look at read read compensating balance is given deduct it okay deduct from where apc or ear both apc or ear interest rate divided by 100 minus cb rate have a look cb rate is deducted from 100 okay cb rate if compensating balance rate is given then you can deduct from 100 or you can use the formula method number 2 that is from amount interest amount divided by principal minus cb amount always use the amount 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 this one is the rate 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 okay interest rate cb rate okay 
and this is the amount 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 interest amount principal amount and CB amount this all about the simple interest loan under the short term bank loan and B1 is the discount interest loan discount green color okay discount means interest is paid at the beginning of year okay also known as the advance interest loan one if compensating balance is not given compensating balance is not given then APC or EAR equal to the interest rate divided by 100 minus interest rate okay IR divided by 100 minus IR into 100 percent okay interest amount divided by principal minus interest amount this one is the amount formula and number point two if compensating balance is given if compensating balance is given then you have to deduct it interest rate divided by 100 minus interest rate minus cb rate okay there is a less okay discount interest loan in this loan the interest is deducted and the compensating balance is given in the question then the CV rate also deducted if not given the CV rate then you don't have to deduct it this formula is the amount formula interest amount divided by principal minus interest amount minus CV amount you can use any one of them okay you don't have to use both formula okay first one is easier and second one is a little bit lengthy now have a look on the question br corporation wishes to borrow rupees five hundred thousand for one year it has a following available alternative okay a of 15 percent loan on collective basis with no compensating balance requirement no compensating balance requirement and b a 12 percent simple interest loan with 10 percent compensating balance requirement a 12 percent simple interest loan with 10 percent compensating balance requirement okay and c a 12 percent loan on a discount basis with no compensating balance 12% loan on discount basis no compensating balance and the D1 is a 8% advance interest loan with 20% compensating balance have a look on A, B, C, D on A 15% loan that is interest rate on collective basis that is simple interest with no CB okay simple interest with no CB simple bank loan with no CB 12% simple interest loan with 10% CB that is the simple interest both a and b are the simple interest one is the no cb and another is has a cb and c and d are the discount basis loan advanced loan one is compensating balance and another has don't have compensating balance so b. which alternative would br corporation choose okay if it concerned with effective interest rate you have to calculate the effective interest rate now given loan amount or principal amount is 5 lakh or 5,000 500,000 and the effective annual rate EAR equal to what for A interest rate IR equal to 15 percent that is simple interest rate and the compensating balance is not given so CB equal to 0 now EAR equal to interest rate divided by 100 into 100 percent okay interest rate means 15 percent divided by 100 into 100 percent 15 percent is our simple interest loan effective rate also 15 percent and next one is the our formula that is the interest amount divided by principal interest amount means 15 percent of 5 lakh okay 15 percent of 500,000 divided by principal means 500,000 into 100 percent the answer is same for B interest rate IR equal to 12 percent simple okay then the interest amount equal to the 12 percent of 5 lakh that is 60,000 
and the compensating balance is given in this B portion. So the CB equal to 10%, that is CB amount equal to the 10% of 5 lakh, that is 50,000. Now EAR equal to the interest rate divided by 100 minus CB. If the CB is given in the question, then always deduct the CB, always deduct CB, always minus the CB. Interest rate, that is 12 percent, divide by 100 minus CB, 10 percent, okay, 12 divide by 100 minus 10 into 100 percent. We can get 33.33 percent or you can use the amount formula, interest amount and principal and CB amount. You can put the formula and you can get the same answer as calculated above. You can use any one of the them. Don't use both formula in the examination because you don't have a time, okay? Only easier method you can use. Which one is easier you feel? You can use. Now, it's time for C. Interest rate IR equal to 12% discount interest because this is the discount. Interest rate is paid at the beginning. So interest rate is 12% that is discount rate and the interest amount is 12% of 5 lakh that is 60,000 and the compensating balance is not given in C, okay. Compensating balance is not given in C. So EAR equal to interest rate divided by 100 minus interest rate because the interest is less because it is the discount interest, okay. In the discount loan in the discount loan you have to deduct the interest okay in the discount you have to deduct the interest 12 percent divide by 100 minus 12 into 100 that is 13.64 percent is our year or you can use by the amount formula you get the same answer there is no difference okay then part b interest rate IR equal to 8 percent that is discount interest rate and interest amount is 8 percent of 5 lakh that is 40,000 and the compensating balance is given in the question that is 20 percent the CB amount is 20 percent of 500,000 that is rupees 100,000 1 lakh okay then the ER equal to the interest rate divided by 100 minus interest rate minus CB rate okay CB rate 8 divided by 100 minus 8 minus 20 into 100 percent 8 divided by 100 minus 8 minus 20 into 100 percent that is 11.11 percent is our ER use another formula that is amount formula EAR equal to the interest amount divided by principal minus interest amount minus CB amount into 100 percent. Put the value of each fa variables factors 40,000 divided by 5 lakh minus 40,000 minus 1 lakh into 100 percent. The answer is same 11.11 percent. This is the decision since the EAR of alternative D, okay, EAR alternative D, alternative A, B, C, D, 4, there are 4 EAR, among them the EAR of alternative B is lower than other, the alternative D should be selected because here the all these are the cost, okay, cost of fund. So, lower the cost is better for corporation. So, lower value should be selected. Since the EAR effective annual rate of alternative D is lower than other, alternative D should be selected. This is our decision. If you have any doubt relating to this lecture video, please comment it can comment and don't forget to share and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thank you